Hey everyone, Technomancer here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this application requires iOS 26.0 or later. If you're getting this issue when it comes to downloading any app from the App Store, I'm going to show you the first fix and then the workaround as well that will allow you to download any app even if you're not on iOS 26. So the first and obvious way to fixing this is by updating the software. So you would start by going into your setting, general, software update and look to see if your phone is compatible with iOS 26. If it is, great. You want to update your phone and then you can go to the App Store and download it. However, it may be the case that your phone does not update to iOS 26 because it's not compatible. In this case, you'll have to follow this workaround. This workaround involves the App Store itself. So the App Store on here, you want to go up top here and check out your Apple ID that you're using. Now you need another device, another iPhone or iPad that actually has iOS 26 on it. And what you need to do is go to that app store there. And then in that app store, you need to sign in with the same account. So you want to make sure both phones have the same account. And the phone that can download, you want to go ahead and download that app that you're looking to download. So you're going to find the app that you couldn't download on the other phone. For example, right, I would go here, find my app that I couldn't download, for example, I couldn't download, I would download it here on this phone that can actually download. And once I download that, what will happen is part of your history under the apps, you'll see this app will show up where you select not on this iPhone. And then you can download it with this icon because it's instead of saying get, it's going to have this cloud icon, part of the history. And you can go ahead and pick that app that you like to get and you can download it like, like this. And that air message will go away. Now on this phone, if it's your friend's or family's phone, you can actually sign out of your Apple account and they can sign back into their account. And now you'll be able to download it on the device that you couldn't download. Really simple. Again, to recap, you just need a phone that can download it with the same Apple ID account on both devices and then you can sign out of the other account and then once you're signed in this one, it will be part of the app's history basically out of that account. It will allow you to download a older version of the app, not necessarily a newer version for iOS 26, but an older version that's compatible with this phone. And that's going to be the workaround. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.